If you're like me and your kid just got one of these cool Disney or Marvel AccuTime watches, and if your watch did not come with instructions the way ours didn't, you might be asking yourself one of the same questions that we were. Is it possible to transfer our pictures and videos off of the watch onto a PC or Mac? The answer is yes. At first I thought I'd probably be able to use the same USB cord that I used to charge the watch to connect my watch to a computer, but that seems to not be the case. If you've gone through the settings menu of your watch to where it says storage, and it says you can select between watch, card, or space, that was my first indication that I could probably put a micro SD card into the watch to store pictures. What you have to do is remove the back of the watch by unscrewing the four screws. By the way, I got this set of miniature screwdrivers at the dollar store. Once I had the screws out, I found I had to use a flathead screwdriver to pop the back off of the watch because it was quite tight. And once I had the back off, I also had to use the flathead screwdriver to pry the battery out because it, was, it grabs onto the inside of the watch. When you're pulling the battery out, you want to be very careful not to pull the wires that are connecting it to the watch. So you set the battery to the side. There's a very small place where you can insert a micro SD card. It's not marked. So you slide it right in here and make sure it's seated firmly. Then you screw the back of the watch back on. And you go through the menu of your watch to the settings, to storage, and you select card. All the photos and videos you take after this will be stored on the card instead of on the watch's internal hard drive. I don't know if there's a way to transfer files from the watch to the card. I don't think so. So you'd want to put a card in as soon as you can. When you eventually want to retrieve the photos, you're going to have to remove the back of the watch again and pull the card out. Since the card sits so flat down against the circuit board, I actually couldn't grasp it with my fingers. I had to get a small pair of tweezers in order to grab it and pull it out, which seems to have left a mark on my card and hopefully not on the watch. So you'd probably want to put in the biggest card you can so you have to do this as rarely as possible. Then you just have to put your micro SD card into your computer. My solution is this small USB stick. It has a slot on one side for a regular SD card and on the other side for a micro SD card. On one end it has a standard USB port and on the other end it has the the mini USB port. So I put my USB stick into my computer. It'll open a window with a couple of folders. One of them has your pictures and videos in it. I only had a spare 2 gigabyte micro SD card laying around, which doesn't seem very big by cell phone standards. The pictures on this phone are actually really small. Photos are only 240 by 240 pixels. At about 10 kilobytes, I could probably fit about 200,000 pictures on a 2 gigabyte SD card. And the video is taken at 240 by 196 pixels, and only at a frame rate of about 5 frames per second. By my calculations, I could fit about 14.5 hours of video on a 2 gigabyte SD card. So good luck and have fun with your new watch.